afternoon baseball here on the show ought to be a good one here between the Cincinnati Reds and the Cleveland Indians. Stepping up to the plate, Travis Jankowski. He will lead this one off today. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. And after a very chilly early morning, the temperatures thawed out a bit to 48 degrees here at game time. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And he can't make the play as he overruns it, but that should be scored as an infield single. The first baseman, number 19. Joey. So now to the plate, Joey Votto. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. The 2 2. Jankowski on at first nobody out fastball didn't miss by much and it's a full count now three and two Nicholas Castellanos will be next don't want to forget about him. now the payoff pitch home Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. The next 3 2. This is pulled into right. Reyes is there and he makes the catch for the out. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. First swings for him in this one with the runner still at first and one gone. One one misses for the second ball. Runners on first with one down. And a two one slider is looked at for a called strike two. He's going, he's going. Jankowski makes a break for second. Pitch outside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Ball misses there, ball four. Coming to the plate now, Eugenio Suarez. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Now the one and one pitch. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. To two and two now. Good eye to lay off the knuckle curve that time, and he makes it a full count. Jesse Winker is on deck. Now the three and two pitch, and he misses again. Ball four, and that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. The designated hitter, Jesse Winker. Hit hard towards the hole. And he tries to get to the backhand, but it gets on by. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1 0. That is good. The second baseman, Mike. Stepping in now, Mike Mustakis. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. One run is scored. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's a 3 0 game. That is seven. The right field. Number 44. At the plate, Aristides Aquino. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Yeah. 
He'll try again, one, two. Sharp ground ball to third. A tag for one. Over to second now, and they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Standing in, Jose Ramirez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. One, one. It's a fastball that misses. His career numbers in this matchup, he has nine base hits in 29 at-bats. Can't find the zone there, and it's 3-1. and one. He's only four pitches in, but he doesn't look too sharp to start the day off. He likely had ball four that time, but couldn't hold back on the swing, so that moves the count to three and two now. Spoils another one, and this is exactly what you're looking for out of your leadoff hitter. And he fouls this one off. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Striding in for the Indians, Cesar Hernandez. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Ew, is that ugly? You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. One, one. Is laid off for ball two. Back to back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. All even now, two and two. Here it comes. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Here's a swing, and oh man! Way out of here! To the plate now, Fran Moraes. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Hey, after that extra base hit, things could go awry. He didn't. He battled right back in the zone with a nice executed pitch. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Freddie Galvis. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Ball taken there, two and one now. Three balls and a strike to the shortstop of the Reds. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Left fielder is on the move. And he makes the catch in the corner. At the plate, Tucker Barnhart. The catcher, Tucker Barnhart. Hit hard back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw gets him. Two down. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Travis Jankowski next. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Reyes is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Ready now, Domingo Santana, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Two and one to count. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses three and one. Tyler Naquin is on deck. 
And he takes ball four. Leadoff man Zaboard here to begin the home half of the second. So striding in, Tyler Naquin. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. The 1 1 home. This is line to left. In there, a base hit. Into the box, Carlos Santana. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. He'll try it again, three and two. Struck him out. Next for the Indians is the designated hitter, Oscar Mercado. Runners are at first and second with one away. Mercado. Drilled right back up the middle. Galvis relayed a first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Riding in once again, Joey Votto hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like you did it, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. In there, two and two. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Full count, three and two. Lifted down the line and left. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Nick Castellanos now. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. Just got the corner that time with a fastball. Strike two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Now the pitch. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Eugenio. And it misses three and one now. Jesse Winker would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. He got him. Lively fastball that time and it puts an end to the inning. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Roberto Perez. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1 and 2 now. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right, out of play. The 1 2. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind you. Payoff pitch one more time. And he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Now about it. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. The one-two. 
These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Fouled off. Doesn't offer at the circle change there, and it goes full three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Throw over to first. Back in standing. Taken high and deep to right. Right fielder looking up, still ranging back. And that one is gone! At the plate now, Francisco Lindor. Indian shortstop behind one and two in the count. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Three and two now. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next three, two. Hit hard. Foul. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. And a good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. Here's the two seam fastball that bears in a bit too tight. It's ball four. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first. And here's Fran Reyes stepping in. And it's fouled away. 3-3 our score with a man on at first and one away. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already and there are two gone in the inning. Into the box Domingo Santana he drew a walk his first time up. Now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number three. Mike Clevenger will come out now and make his first appearance of the spring. Number 52. All set for the start of the fourth and next to bat will be Jesse Winker. on that one two balls and a strike swing and a miss two and two now on the ground and right at the shifted infielders reined in throw to first in time one gone here in the fourth so the bases are empty with one man gone and up next the former World Series hero Mike Moustakis Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now so stepping in, Aristides Aquino. Hit out towards second. And that is through into center field, a base hit. The bat, number three, shortstop, Freddie. In now, Freddie Galvis. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and that nearly broke our tie but instead it's a foul ball. Good spot for an RBI put the ball in play with the runner in motion he could score all the way from first. And this pitch misses for ball four so that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Two down runners at first and second. 
inside here with the hard stuff, and it's two and one now. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Three and one to him now. Three and one, here it is. And he drops a change in on him there, and that'll run it full three and two. This is on the ground over to first. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Sonny Gray, 5'10 right-hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 54. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And digging in is the outfielder, Tyler Naquin. The 1-1 home. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Digging in for his second at bat, Carlos Santana looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. The three and one pitch. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Three two pitch. strikes him out as well so make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen three runs three hits no errors to this point for the Indians oh, had him off stride that time and it's one and two real ugly 0 one swing there as a pitcher you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this got him looking and that'll do it the inning is over. Tristan McKenzie, the 6'5 right hander, takes over on the mound. Number 75. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Travis Jankowski. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Ready for another shot now, Joey Votto. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Now at the plate, Nicholas Castellanos. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. And another throw over. And he'll dive back in. One-two. Jankowski makes a break for second. Pitch outside the throw. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. The 2-2. Two -two. Popped him up. Santana has a play. Makes the play. And there are two gone now. Two gone in the Cincinnati fifth. And that'll bring in Eugenio Suarez. Three runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Into the box now, Jesse Winker. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Lifted the other way out to left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Mike Leak is ready and he'll take the ball from the manager. Now pitching for Cincinnati. 
number 29. Mike set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next will be the power hitting catcher, Roberto Perez. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. The one two. That's a ball. Up. Votto is under this one. One guy. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jose Ramirez will swing it from the left side right here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop, more home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Pulled toward right center field. Jankowski is in his tracks now, and that's out number two. Ready to take his hacks again. Cesar Hernandez. As he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. That last A.B. when he hit the home run, that was a decent changeup. It was down in the zone, but one of the problems when you have a good changeup like this pitcher does, hitters go up there and they kind of look for that changeup, so he's going to have to look. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Adam Pletko takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 45, Adam. At the plate, Mike Moustakis. He went down on strikes last time up. Hit hard, but right into the shift. And Moustakis is aboard. It's a base hit. Stepping in now, Aristides Aquino. Change up. Good pitch there. One and two. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Striding in, Freddie Galvis. It was a walk in his last trip. A one one. Runner at first here, one man out. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Again, a one two. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second now, out. Digging in, Tucker Barnhart. Barnhart. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. The high fastball is in there. Hit softly on the ground to first. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Jose De Leon enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 87. Okay. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. In now for Cleveland, Prem Moreyes. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And here's the 3 2 from him. Skied into straightaway right. Aquino is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Digging in to try it again, Domingo Santana. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat.
into the corner and slicing foul. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Fouled off into the seats behind first. Two out, nobody on. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Tyler Naquin would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Line drive to left. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Up next for Cleveland. So now to the plate, Tyler Naquin outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. Here's a fastball that he shoots on into left center, and that'll fall for a base hit. Standing in now, Carlos Santana. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one two. Fly ball into straightaway left. Castellanos is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Brad Hand is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Jose Iglesias is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. away for ball two two and one hand Minnesota born ball player he was taken in the second round during the 2008 draft yeah Maddie they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy he has turned himself into an absolute superstar everybody knows this guy's name the kids are buying his jerseys Philip Urban will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning Side two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Nick Senzel will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. And it's one and two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Ball three. Three and two now. Swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Kyle Farmer will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Two out with a man at first. Drill down the line. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Rysel Iglesias gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Rysel. Blinking. 
Sliding into the box, Oscar Mercado. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Into the box the now, Roberto Perez. Perez. He got under one and popped Roberto. out his last time up. Perez. The 1-1. One, one. Fly ball out toward left center field. Center fielder giving chase. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Greg right, Allen you, will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two Number out one. and the base is empty. Right. Two and one now to the tribe's leadoff man. Allen is a guy you have to keep an eye on in the batter's box. He's definitely been known to drop down a bunt from time to time. That's something he's really good at. Senzel makes the play and the side is retired. Scott Moss has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 74. Kurt Casale is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Line toward center field. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first out. Tyler Stevenson will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Number 71, Tyler Stevenson. A bouncer to the left side. Throw gets him, two down. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Aristides Aquino. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The one two. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Matt Bowman is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 67, Matt Bowman. Delino DeShields will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. Fly ball out toward left center field. Senzel backing up on it. He can't get there as it falls in. Jesus Aguilar will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 27, Jesus Aguilar. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. K.J. Harrison will come on now as the pinch hitter. Harrison. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Callahan takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. You're Daniel Johnson three. will come on as a pinch hitter. Number 31. Daniel Johnson. Runner on first with two away. Now a throw over. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. The 2 1 home. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. And again, a throw, and 
and dive, but he's back in there. Two out with the man at first. There goes the runner. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Nick Whitgren enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Ball set for the start of the inning and stepping up as the shortstop Freddie Galvis. The one one is taken for ball two. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Now the pitch. Late on that one is it's foul off to the left side. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Tucker Barnhart will be next. Fouled away. Finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Now back. So digging in now, Tucker Barnhart. He was a ground out victim last time up. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Whitgren has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of batters. Boy, and every manager and pitching coach, Matty D, they love to bring a guy in that they know one thing. He's going to throw strikes and not beat himself. And this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. And he fouls this one off. The next 3 2. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Barnhart is retired. Two down now. Now at the plate, Michael Ciani. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. At the plate, Derek Dietrich. He loses him on ball four. Josh Van Meter will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Runner on first with two away. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. That's popped up. Adams just to the left of the mound. And that ends the inning. Michael Lorenzen is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Elias Diaz will get up off the bench to lead off the home half of the night. And they've certainly got their work cut out for them here, so he'll just need to work on getting aboard. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Here's Carlos Santana now. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Here's the one and one delivery.
fouled off. One out, nobody on. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. And it's fouled away. Here's another one, two. Grounded to first. He's right there. And he'll take this on to first. And they're down to their final out. Two away. Digging in. Oscar Mercado. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Popped him up. Dietrich moving to his left. Makes the catch. And that's the ball game. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Six to three, the final score today. The Reds posted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Sonny Gray gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasgers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon.